Today I'm going to show you how to generate a key for your Android application. So if you build your app in PhoneGap Build, you will be able to test out your Android app and you can actually download an APK file to submit to Google Play, but if you haven't added a key, it will probably give you an error on Google Play. So what we need to do is generate a key and then rebuild our app so that we can submit it to Google Play. So we have a link in our documentation to this page, which is uh, this URL right here. It's kind of long, but um, app signing on the Android developer tools. So the important part that we want to look for is this right here. This is basically a command that we can run that will generate our key store file, which is what we need to submit the app. So the first thing that you need to do is uh, make sure that you have uh, Java installed and um, you should actually have the key tool already installed if you're using a Mac. I believe it's installed on the PC as well, although I could be wrong. For more information about key tool, you can go to this link um, or you can just Google install key tool um, for your particular system. So the, what I'm going to do is open up my command line and I'm going to go to my project folder. The reason that I go to my project folder is just to kind of keep everything sort of in the same place. So I have a folder already for my iOS certificates. So I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm just going to call it for Android key. And then I'm going to actually go into that CD into that folder. Um, if you're on a Mac, the CD means change directory. You just type in CD. You can actually drag and drop a folder into your terminal and then press enter and it already uh, fills out the entire path for you. So it's very easy. So the next thing that we're going to do is basically just copy and paste uh, this key tool command. So what you want to, what we're going to customize is uh, this line right here, the my release key, um, the alias name, and that's it. So why don't I go all the way up to my release key dot key store? Um, so I'm gonna just gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna go release key dot key store. Okay, that's the first part. And then we're going to keep going, and we have an alias name. Make sure that there's a space here. So I'm just going to call it uh, alias. And then uh, the rest of this stuff you don't actually need to do anything with. So uh, so basically, it's the all I did was I I'm copying this whole string and remember with uh, in the command line you don't you completely ignore this dollar sign, so I'm using this whole string but I am editing this key store name and the alias name, uh, and then I'm just going to press enter. So then it's going to ask you for a password, and then it's going to ask you to re-enter it first, and then it's going to ask you for some other information. So once we enter that information, it is going to generate this certificate, enter the key password. I'm just going to press enter because it's the same password. And then after that, it has basically generated our key store file, which is this one right here. So once we have that, then we go back to PhoneGap build and we're going to go to add a key and I can put in this and then um, my, I can put in my alias which uh, let me remember what it was looks like it was Wakami underscore alias and then I can upload my file and submit it and then it will build and and then you can actually download that APK file. You're going to have to uh, unlock it. And then we can rebuild it. And then once that's done rebuilding, we can actually generate it for release and submit that to Google Play.